Nice to see you. I'm uh, doing good. Good. Uh, enjoying the weather? Actually, it's my favorite time of year. It is nice. Yeah, yeah. nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm Bethany Kale. I'm the head chef at Bon Bon Rue, mm -hmm. and we're looking for a public marketing developer, so that's what this interview is going to be. I'll be conducting the interview and asking you a few questions to see how it all, how you fit in with your business. Fabulous. Um, it'll take about 10 minutes, and then um, feel free to ask questions at the end. Okay. Uh, the first question is, what would your personal experience and education bring to our company? Well, actually, when I saw this um, opportunity on the website, uh, I'd come in before, and because it's close to university, so I had to study there, and I loved it immediately, so I was already telling my friends and bringing people in, so that was just kind of in my free time, and then the fact that I could get paid for something like that would just be great, and my past experience fits really well. Um, I've been working in the service industry for seven years, and... Uh, so I'm really familiar with every kind of platform everywhere from uh, cafes to catering to restaurants and I've worked every side of it. I've worked in the back of the house, the front of the house. I've worked management and then um, my current job is uh, I'm the bar manager and the social media mm -hmm. uh, coordinator essentially and then I also help event plan for um, a small family owned restaurant. Uh, so it all kind of fits perfectly and this restaurant that just opened um, they started really small and in the past year since I've been there they've tripled their sales Wonderful. from everything so yeah it's just been a really exciting thing to see them grow and I'm just excited to get another opportunity to do that. Very interesting, thank you. Um, so we are a fairly young bake shop and uh, with well-known patisseries in the area such as St. Henri how would you promote to differentiate our business from with other with the use of social media platforms? Um, well, I saw um, on the website that you guys are um, first of all uh, very Portland. You saw those gluten free options mm -hmm. and all of that with that French twist. I like mm -hmm. that kind of dynamic, and then also the fact that you do catering. I think that um, we could definitely start to promote. Um, a lot more events like around that, so just little events depending on, um, and this is what I was going to ask you about there, but just depending on your demographic and your um, goal for what kind of growth you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but just like planning little events like as far as um, like coffee house um, on certain nights bringing in, that brings in a lot of college kids since you're right near campus, mm -hmm. and things like um, bake sales and things like that because I don't think a lot of um, coffee shops have events that draw people in, especially at night if you are open to that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think that um, little events and then depending on how you want to grow, going from there to get your word out. Thank you. Yes. Um, so if we were happen to receive negative feedback on, our, on one of our social media sites, how would you address the issue in order to save the face of our company? For example, a customer may, customer may post a complaint about poor service or quality. How would you deal with that? Dealt with this a lot yeah. in the service industry. It's always going to happen, so you always have to be prepared for it. Um, there is definitely uh, uh, websites that, uh, like Yelp, where it gives opportunity for good feedback but also bad feedback. So we've had to deal with that, and you have to kind of um, be ready to publicly apologize and also sort of um, stand firm in your um, company's mission statement. So based on all that, I would also say that, um, especially if it's a returning customer, you have to really value the relationship you have with them. And so you have to really show, um, kind of, <laughs> my word to use is like, you have to schmooze them. So you have to be a good schmoozer and make them feel like uh, you really care, that you're genuinely sorry, and that you um, will fix immediately what needs to happen. And especially, um, if it's a returning customer, you have to make that kind of a priority and show them that. And so it's all about really just communication and just showing like this um, level of respect and appreciation for your customers because things are always going to happen and people are always going to have difference of opinions and even if it's just a mistake, you have to kind of uh, show them that you're on their team, that you want to make it right so then they come end up coming back because that's definitely a big Yes, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal to keep yeah. customers coming back. It keeps it going. So. Thank you. Um, with the ever-changing social media scene, how will you ensure that our shop is up to date on the current trends? 
Um, so I have some experience with this as well. Um, we do, um, we have Twitter account, Instagram account, Facebook account, and that's kind of a necessity if you want to keep up with everybody else. Yeah. Um, one thing that I think is cool that um, people do, I think is trending on Instagram right now, is a sort of um, media giveaways and use um, say things like uh, post a picture of blank and um, hashtag it, you know, mm -hmm. Bon Bon Roo, and then you have a chance to win, you know, a free um, like macaroon tree or whatever you guys have available. Um, so just like, for example, uh, post a picture of um, something French close to you, just like to keep um, the theme kind of going. So things like that, that's pretty popular right now. And then also just um, really keeping everything up to date is also important. We had a kind of a lull where our website wasn't up to date. and. Um, it's important to make sure that your menu and your events and the times if you're closed for an event mm -hmm. um, are all linking up so people know that it's a reliable source. Mm -hmm. So um, just really staying on top of it and always kind of putting your voice out there, even if it's just little like French phrases or like terms about the bakery or things like that that are just fun facts for people so it keeps them seeing your name when they're scrolling through their feed and like, oh yeah, I should go there or mm -hmm. I should stay there. It's like that. Important to stay up to date on those trends. Um, as a part of our catering services, we market to both individual customers, uh, consumers, and businesses. How would you address these different markets? Yeah, well, it's definitely different with um, the individuals. You want to make sure you have um, that element of personal touch, personal relationships with them, which is important with a company too. But with the company, I think you want to show them that um, that you're able to handle. Um, the, the inventory basically that they're asking for. Um, so I think it's just kind of a different um, aura of professionalism. They're both professional, but one is maybe a little bit more, you wanna show them your, um, your home side, like your home feel side. Um, and then just what you have to offer them as well, just um, showing them as far as um, the size of like your options for catering and your options of um, how much you can have to offer and then um, for individuals you can also uh, go for like just give them anything from like little coupons or little things to make them feel like they're part of your family essentially mm -hmm. and then that's when um, references come in and that's when that's how people start to get the word out for you so um, I think yeah just building relationships and knowing the dynamic between the two. All right. So we just talked a little bit about your personal experience you've had a lot of past experiences working in other businesses um, with marketing and everything. And you've mentioned quite a bit about um, just giving incentives and promoting our business. Would you like to add anything? Do you um, yeah, I mean, I think that um, it's really exciting that you guys are new because then you kind of have um, so, many, so much potential to grow. And I'm kind of curious about um, First of all, I know you're close to university. Was your demographic largely targeted towards that age group, sort of college, or do you want more of a family business, or what's sort of that? And then um, taking that into account, um, what kind of growth were you looking at one day, maybe opening a second shop, or you kind of want to just keep this one growing and um, brand yourself, or what? Um, what's kind of the angle there? Right now, we are focusing more on the university student demographic. We are close to University of Portland, so we'll be getting a lot of students there. We were originally a food cart traveling um, throughout um, downtown Portland. Yeah, I read so, about that. That's um, great. We're excited to have um, just one place to set some roots, and um, we do have a outside patio, so hopefully some families from St. John's area. So newer, trendier a little bit, so more of the younger demographic is definitely what we're looking for. And for um, expanding to a second building right now, we're just working on our one, one step at a time. One step at a definitely, time, but I can the agree possibilities with. are open. So. Great, yeah, no, yeah, so I would just say that um, because I'm 26, so I've had the college experience, I'm connected with the older group, I feel like I'm a good link between um, family and the younger demographic in my experience I would just feel like I would have a lot to offer as far as um, creative ideas to get people excited and yeah I would like love to learn from the talent behind a cute French cafe as well which I think everybody can like find 
a place for really mm -hmm. just because it really likes that kind of romantic yes. like feel of films. So. Yes, it's wonderful. I love working there. Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions besides that? Um, I think that's, uh, for me, I would just be, yeah, excited to work with you guys. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, so that is it for our interview. Thank you so much for coming. Great. Okay, look forward to hearing from you. Very nice meeting you. I'll let you know in about two weeks. Thank you. Yeah.